Hey guys, Haley Lane aka Key Black here and welcome back to another episode of Off the Cuff. And with the popularity of a recent live action anime adaptation that's taken the uh, the internet like a whirlwind, I wanted to take a bit to talk about One Piece. I don't know how many of you guys have been following me for a really long time since I haven't really talked about or drawn anything One Piece related in ages, but I used to be a huge One Piece fan. I say used to because I kind of fell off of following the series a long time ago, I want to say around the Dressrosa arc, but the early chapters and the early sagas are still really near and dear to my heart. And it's been really interesting seeing a lot of people discovering the early stuff in One Piece for the first time with the live-action Netflix adaptation. It's been making me really nostalgic. I'm really jonesing for the old stuff. My first exposure to One Piece is a lot like my first exposure to Yu-Gi-Oh! in that I first saw it on the Fox Box. And uh, of course, that means the first version of One Piece that I saw was the 4Kids dub. In some ways, I would wager that the One Piece 4Kids dub is even more infamous than the the 4Kids dub of Yu-Gi-Oh, because, uh, uh, well, it was, uh, it was much more heavily censored. I distinctly remember things like guns being turned into water pistols and Helmepo's pistol being turned into this <laughs> spring-loaded hammer contraption when he's holding, a uh, Kobe hostage. And of course, the Sanji lollipop thing. Aside from the number of times they removed blood from scenes, that was probably the most egregious. But for a long time, it wasn't really one of those shows that I was super into as a kid, um, until I discovered the manga around the same time that I discovered what manga was through Yu-Gi-Oh! When I read the manga, I was flabbergasted at just how much different it was from the cartoon version that I had seen on uh, what eventually became 4Kids TV. I want to say I discovered it around the same time that Skypea or Water 7 was happening in the manga. I found the Japanese anime for sure around the time that uh, Eni's Lobby was wrapping up. God, I still remember being completely floored and excited like you couldn't believe when I first saw the Jet Gatling scene. And I remember being so excited beyond belief when I heard that Funimation was acquiring the rights to dub One Piece from four kids. I made sure that I was going to be home for that premiere episode, and it was the Hikari A opening with Vic Mignogna singing the English version of it, and I was like, oh my god, this is the best thing! There was definitely a phase where I was completely obsessed with One Piece. I, caught, I cosplayed Romanoa Zoro for Halloween when my sister cosplayed Luffy, and I kind of bounced in and out of my One Piece obsession uh, to very degrees throughout high school and college. And I actually did a lot more cosplays of One Piece as well. I did a Tony Tony Chopper cosplay for my very first convention. It was specifically Chopper Man with the cape and everything. Um, I did a Nami cosplay for one of the local conventions in, in Virginia Beach. And then I did a bunch of different versions of Luffy. I think the one that I put the most effort into was the Dress Rosa Luffy costume that I made when Dress Rosa was still happening in the Japanese uh, issuing of the manga. I was so enthusiastic about that one because I had taken a break from reading the manga for a while. I kind of lost interest around the time skip, and then I was like, all right, I'm gonna give this another shot. And I picked up around the Dressrosa arc, and I was like, all right, this is like Alabasta 2.0. I can I can dig this. And I saw this one panel of Luffy running away from the uh, the Colosseum that he was just fighting in in a fish costume. <laughs> pointed to that, and I went, that's the one. I'm making that costume. And so for that year at Otakon in Baltimore, I showed up as Luffy in the fish costume, wearing the Dressrosa outfit underneath the fish costume. <laughs> That was a really fun convention. There was a huge One Piece meetup. I met like three Bartolomeos. And even aside from cosplay, I even ran this blog on Tumblr for a while where I would answer questions as Luffy uh, doing a voice impression of Colleen Clinkenbeard's Funimation Luffy. You know, he sounds something like this and he always ends the episode with, on the next One Piece, I'm gonna be king of the pirates. <laughs> And, you know, the questions would range from, Hey, Luffy, what do you think about this or that? All the way to, uh, Hey, Mod, can you, can you do an impression of Luffy from this scene in the manga? <laughs> And I was in college at the time. I was in a college dorm sharing it with a couple of other gals. And I remember <laughs> getting a question to reenact, um, reenact Ace's death. <laughs> Man, I set up my Blue Yeti mic and I went for it. And uh, I, I thought I had timed it so that everybody on that floor in the dorm would be in class. <laughs> but no, uh, at least 11 people came filing into my, into my room uh, to see why the hell I was screaming bloody murder. <laughs> God, I was so embarrassed. From that point on, I actually went over to the recording studio in the uh, the arts building 
anytime I wanted to record something outlandish for the blog. Part of me wishes that blog was still up. It's, it was a hell of a time and it was a lot of fun. But I have a really soft spot in my heart for the early parts of the series, like especially the East Blue arc. Arlong Park is, I think, still one of the best sagas I've read in any story, uh, certainly any manga. And uh, I've been hearing some glowing reviews of the live action series and especially the live action version of some of the key moments in Arlong Park. So, you know, I was initially hesitant to watch the live action, um, but now I'm getting really curious about it. So, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll sit down to watch it. At any rate, guys, I think that's a good place to stop for this episode. Thanks so much for listening and for watching. I might not be done talking about One Piece, so we will see. But for now, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks again.